everybody, it's Chugacon, or welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we took down Bugsy of Azalea Gym. Him, her, it, I don't know. You take a guess. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I bet you're wondering what we're doing in the Pokemart. Well, I'm here to show you that you can buy charcoal here for over $9,000, but... Uh, I do not recommend that you buy the charcoal, because you can get charcoal for free if you just follow my instructions. Yes, you want to be following my instructions, and that's what we're going to be doing in this part. We're going to be showing you how to get to Goldenrod City, as well as get charcoal. Okay, let's go ahead and switch Totodile to the front. We're going to save Growlithe. Go ahead and head out here, and... It's the red-headed stepchild! Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Quit lying! You're not joking? Then let's see how good you are! This is rival battle number two! Alright. Let's go ahead and... Aeon would like to battle, or... Whatever, okay. I really gotta stop saying whatever so much. It's really getting... Kind of... I don't know... I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm just going to start off a Totodile here and just try to take out Ghastly best I can. Uh, that Ghastly has Lick, which gets really annoying because it can paralyze you, but anyway, let's just go ahead and see if we can take him down. Come on. Alright, didn't quite take him down. And it, good, it's not paralyzing us. Usually whenever there's things that do that, uh... Usually whenever things do that, you can always expect it to paralyze you, though, whenever it's the enemy using it, though, but, alright. Let's go ahead and do this, and there he goes. Uh, that Ghastly of his knows Curse, so I was kind of hoping that it would do Curse and, you know, just beat itself, though, because what Curse does is it puts a Curse on you that does damage every turn, but in return, uh, it cuts half of its HP, and frequently enemies in this game will beat their own Pokemon by doing that. And now for Bayleaf, uh, this is his starter. Luckily, we have a fire type. Oh, God! Yeah, this thing has a lot of status things. It has uh, poison powder. Well, actually, poison powder is the only one. Uh, it's got some pretty annoying moves, actually. This thing even has synthesis, which heals half of its HP. At least in the remake, it does, so. That's just something to watch out for. Come on. Just go down, please. Oh! Wow, we're actually getting criticals when we need them, and pretty often. And wow, my voice cracked like four times in that one sentence. Uh, I actually got a message from like a girl the other day, like, or I don't know. On the internet, girl stands for guy in real life. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I got a message from a girl yesterday, and they're like, oh, it's so cute how your voice cracks. And I'm like, really? Uh, I don't know. Apparently some 13-year-old girl out there must think it's cute. I don't know. I won't argue against it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just bite it. No, no, no. Let's not bite it. Let's not let the bat bite us. Let's bite the bat. Come on. And that does it for rival battle number two. There we go. <laughs> Useless Pokemon. Listen, you only won because my Pokemon were weak. Really? They looked like they were full health to me. I hate the weak. Pokemon, trainers, doesn't matter who or what. I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They act big and tough in a group, but get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. A weakling like you is only a distraction. How many times did he say weak right there? I mean, jeez. And, oh, Hiker Anthony. His meal, this is Anthony. All right, see, so the other day I was watching my matchup eat some berries. It looked like it was enjoying its meal, so I decided to try some. I'm not sure if people should eat this stuff, but it was delicious. Lately, I've been running across Wild Spiro quite often. They're easy to take care of. All right, then, be good. Pointless phone call is pointless! Alright, let's just go ahead and heal up really quick. Something I thought I'd mention really quick is that this store, guess what? It actually has da -da -da -da, some repels. Let's go ahead and switch the repels back up here so we can access them a lot easier. 
Alright, let's go ahead and use a repel. And we can now not run into any Pokemon weaker than ourselves for 100 steps. I can run into weaklings. Forest is watched over by its protectors. Stay out of mischief! Welcome to the Ilex Forest, the dungeon that is standing between you and Goldenrod City. A uh, new Pokemon found in Ilex Forest starting out here. First off is Paris. Paris is a horrible Pokemon to use in battle. It has frail defenses, it's really slow, um, not very usable at all, but it's great as an HM slave because it learns both Flash and Cut, which are very commonly used HMs. Uh, next up is Venonat. Venonat doesn't do much to separate itself from other poison types, and it's not a particularly good bug type. There's far better bug types out there if you want to use one, so I'd say skip out on this one, but I don't know. It's not terrible. It's just painfully average. Uh, and then as for the last one is Psyduck. This is only found in Crystal. Uh, in this area, at least. It can be found in the other games later. Psyduck's a decent special attacker, but there's better water types out there. I'd say only get it if you're just a really big fan of Psyduck. Eh, sure. I bet the Protector's some weird googly-eyed green thing or some crap like that. Let's see here. Something stereotypical. Boss is going to be steaming the far edge that cuts down trees after charcoal took off of me. I can't go looking here in the Onyx Forest. It's too big and dark and scary for me. WIMP! Let's go ahead and find this stupid bird for him. Yes, he has a Farfetch. It's it's so hilarious that he's too much of a wimp to go find a Farfetch. Farfetch is one of the all-time worst Pokemon. Like, I don't know if any of you guys go on Smoggin, but I think Smoggin says it really well. Smoggin's article says, I'm of the belief that just as Pokemon Red and Blue were going to be released, Farfetch spilled ink on the suit of one of Game Freak's most prominent em employees because... Ever since then, every generation, they have made it absolutely sure to make this thing suck in battle as much as it possibly could. Alright, let's just go ahead. Farfetch, qua! And don't ask how I have that memorized. And I probably got a few details wrong there, but no, oh well. Uh, this is all you have to do. Just go ahead and do this. And... Boom! Yay! Nope. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Wow, thanks a whole bunch. My boss's Pokemon won't have been because I don't have a badge. Ah, oh, my Farfetch! You found it for us, kid! Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut down trees for charcoal! Thanks, kid! No, how can I thank you? I know, take this! We get HM1! Cut. Alright, get cut to uh, clear small trees. You have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. Sadly, the only Pokemon I have that can learn it is Totodile, so I think we're gonna go ahead and catch something just for the sole purpose of cutting down trees. Uh, but something you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and head back into Azalea Town. Go in here. Just Team Rocket, I went to the Alex Force Run. That takes guts, I like that. Come train with us. Alright, let's talk to this guy, and. And he gives you charcoal for free! Uh, charcoal raises the power of fire type moves, so we're gonna go ahead and let our Growlithe hold that, so that's gonna be great to have. Uh, it's really good to have to make use of hold items like that, because they really do raise power of moves. The in game text is not lying to you. Gasp! <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and give it to Growlithe. Oh, as we were on our way back from this, we get the egg hatching. The egg is hatched into... Dookie dookie! I will never make that sound again. Ugh. Togepi came out of its egg. Alright, so you get a Togepi this way. Uh, this is the only way you can really get a Togepi in the game, at least as far as I know. Well, besides breeding more, but that's about it. Um... Togepi here. Uh, it's an alright Pokemon, though. It doesn't have that great of stats. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. Only knows Growl and Charm, so it's kind of hard to raise. Um, I only recommend it if you really, really, really just like this Pokemon. If you take it back to Professor Elm and show him the newly hatched Togepi, he will give you an Everstone for it. Well, not just for showing it to him, not for giving him the Pokemon, just for showing it to him. And that um, Everstone basically is a hold item that makes it so that your Pokemon will never evolve, should you ever want to keep it in its lower form. I don't know why you'd want to do that, because you can just hit B whenever it's going to evolve, but okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and heal up real quick. Let's see here. Ilex Forest Shrine, in honor of the Forest Protector. Yeah, all that jazz. Let's go ahead and just see here. I'll believe a Forest Protector when I see one. Overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch for items that may have been dropped. And what do you know? Item! There's a lot of hidden items here, though, but I don't know where all of them are, personally. It's a lot easier to find hidden items in the DS game, though, because it actually physically shows you where hidden items are on a radar if you haven't pulled out, so... Yeah, it's a lot better. And... Repels effect wore off, of course. And we get an antidote. Of course, always great to have those. And after this, we only have two more repels. I'm kind of getting scared here that we're, I didn't buy enough repels to make it through. Uh, if you go ahead and go around here, 
Uh, you can find this guy. Who will teach a Pokemon Repel? Well, actually, in the new games he does it. He gives you a TM here. Uh, we'll go over what Headbutt does at a later time, just because we're running a bit low on time here. But Headbutt, you can basically Headbutt trees and get Pokemon from it. There's Pokemon you can only get from doing this, and it's actually really helpful, because there's some really good Pokemon you can find this way. An Aether! Alright. That isn't too bad, actually. I was like, an Aether! Because I was getting, like, too excited. Uh, what do you got? Oh, of course you're a trainer! Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, let's go ahead and just head through here and... Okay, let's see if we can make it without running into a Pokemon. Let's see if we can do it! Yes! Uh, right here, you're gonna want to talk to this lady. You're making a Pokedex. Must be hard if Pokemon won't appear. Take this TM. TM12. That gives you Sweet Scent, which attracts wild Pokemon to you without having to move. It's a typical American way. Alright. 